teaching is getting a bad rep in the eye of the media right now because of teacher shortages, which are more predominant in some states than others. I do not believe the grass being greener on the other side, just switching campuses as all schools come with their own set of challenges. However, what if I told you that switching subjects waters the grass nicely as selecting an elective can prove to be more rewarding and a refreshing experience? This exceptional elective, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to discuss today is teaching technology applications. Let's shift gears. This is my fifth year teaching technology applications with the emphasis on coding and design this year. But curriculum usually for this course is more about tech fundamentals than that as students are not efficient in keyboarding, creating word documents, slide presentations, and digital spreadsheets. Society thinks because kids today are able to just pick up a smartphone and begin consuming content that that immediately makes them tech savvy. Sadly, this couldn't be further from the truth. Students today are great consumers, but not producers. This claim is even more factual if you are in a low socioeconomical demographic. Now, because we are faced with this issue, you'll find teaching a curriculum today that involves educating students on beginner tech fundamentals. Teaching these things has made my job significantly easier as I have had to make simple lessons, breaking down individual features of Google Docs and Sheets. For example, I may spend three days just being dedicated to mastering on how to create a drawing or a table in Google Docs. Very simple stuff. If you have a high level software developer background in switching careers, I wouldn't enter the classroom with hoop dreams of kids advancing from Python six weeks into the school year. As a teacher, you have to find creative ways to transfer your field experience as a coder to bring understanding to students. How you learned as a programmer, all those cold nights, the hours on end on the keyboard, grinding to solve these complex and abstract problems will probably frustrate you to no end when your students do not apply that same effort. They're not giving you the same energy whatsoever. Fortunately, if you were to accept where students are, you'll find that teaching technology will be less stressful than actually being involved in corporate tech. Last year and this year, I am teaching a curriculum that focuses on early coding concepts using websites such as Scratch, made by MIT, and code.org. In Scratch, I teach coding blocks individually using simple exercises to make sure students understand their functionality. So for example, we may be doing like loops for a whole week and the next week just using variables. And then from there, we're combining and building on top of those skills. If you enter this field with Hollywood aspirations, you'll set yourself up for failure. If your expectations are for students to make you look good, then prepare for your ego to go cruising for a bruising. When teaching technology, there's no standardized testing or bureaucracy that you will have to worry about when teaching a core class, that being your math, science, social studies, and your English courses. You won't be bombarded with all these surprise trainings and meetings that come with the territory of a, of a required state prep. And if you're at a campus in dire need of a turnaround, then you may go completely ignore it as the focus will be on getting kids to tighten their reading and math performances up. This doesn't mean that you get to slack off collecting Cheeto dust on your goatee or your blouse. And trust me, I collected my fair share of Cheeto dust in the past myself. I would argue that this elective is more rewarding because you get to see students receive practical skills in real time, such as touch typing or fundamental coding that no letter grade can measure. Now, there are trade-offs, you're going to have to be cool with serving extra duties and receiving large class sizes. Unfortunately, electives can be a dumping ground for schedule balances and excess students. If you are at a campus that cherishes their technology program, then that won't be the case. Most schools value the contribution of a real tech program that makes, and if you're an instructor with loads of software experience, then that is a huge plus. I want you to understand that nothing comes for free, even in this case, but this is a trade-off that I'm willing to live with, and I hope you eventually feel the same way. Let's not also forget the biggest benefit of education, all the days off. All those people on the outside who sit up here and accuse you of, or teachers of getting like, don't you get so many days off throughout the summer or throughout the year? Yeah, that, that is true. I don't know what the media and crybabies on YouTube are even talking about. <laughs> but, but, but I have to take my work home and work over the holidays. <laughs> These people are either exaggerating or do not understand how to prioritize their teacher tasks and assignments. As long as your classroom management is strong, you can build student rapport, submit your grades and lesson plans on time, you should be straight. Everything else 
it's just hype or distraction. Now, I'm not gonna cap. Sometimes there's going to be days where you will be having to spend a, a day on a Saturday or a half a day on Saturday if you wanna like plan ahead or whatnot, but that's gonna be purely your choice. But if you work your classroom management plans really well, meaning that if you build a good relationship with your students and you could actually squeeze time in to actually get these things done throughout the day, you could probably work that out. It's just about managing yourself in the time that you actually have. And that actually comes from some experience, maybe a year or two, but that is something that you're going to have to take time to actually try to master early on in your career. So you won't be one of these people, these casualties on YouTube who cry and say they don't have any time. Mismanagement of work and time is a big problem in terms of why some teachers actually fail and experience these frustrations. You probably heard that some districts have moved to a four day work week calendar with Friday being a training and planning day for staff. Plus, the holidays are still rewarded to you as well. School year may be extended to make up that time, but I don't see this as a problem. Instead of ending school the last week of May, it will end the first week of June. One of the reasons I even left the business world is because of scheduling. At one company, I had to work there for a whole year before I even qualified for just one week of vacation. Let's not speak on that ever again. My probationary period with this company as a new hire lasted for a whole year. However, as a teacher, your probationary status does not affect your leave time or the embedded holidays within the school year. The school year schedule allows me to have life outside of work, the opportunity to invest time in side hustles such as freelance web development, writing, and building my YouTube channels. If you are someone already working in software or web development looking for a career change, then I think this will be a good pivot. Now, what I share here is just a fraction of the benefits of what education offers. If you want more hard-hitting reasons about opting to teach this terrific technology elective, then I have seven more to persuade you right here in this video. 